All right. The gummies, the gummies. I hope you guys have your drinks because we're about to read. Uh, he goes by a lefty, uh-huh. and this is the Red Pill Mob story. <laughs> yeah, I love these. You're going to love this. Oh, First, yeah. thank you for your service. I wish you were around when I was a young man. I hope your subscribers take your advice and listen and learn from the countless examples in everyday videos. I have changed the names and various parts of the story to protect my identity. Not that any of these guys are still alive, but better safe than sorry. One died of old age, the other was murdered in a horrible way. Mm. It happens if you're in that business. While bouncing in a strip club, that's all I can say about them without giving away who they were, and I will say that I miss them both. Mm -hmm. I was a musician, started playing organ for the local church, grew my skills and reputation, finally ending up with steady gigs. I was comfortable. Nice waterfront apartment, Corvette, etc. I was dating a girl named Janae. Oh, no. Pretty steady for a while. She had an absolutely giant pair of fun bags. Yeah! Yeah, yeah. Pretty face and a kind of Monty Python sense of humor. Okay. I can get behind that. I'm sure you did, too, several times. Let's hope so. The thought of marriage wasn't completely out of the question for me, but I was a young musician, and I tended to be hit on regularly, so... Uh, by the way, never without protection. Yep, yep. AIDS and herpes were rampant back then. Uh, it has to be in the 80s or not, or early 90s. Yeah, it's, it's got to be the 80s. I mean, it, it, they didn't really know what it was in the late 70s. It was starting to come yeah, around. Early 80s, they were still calling it grids at that point, so it could be like 80s, early 90s. Yeah. She visited me often, and I would take her with me on my short road gigs once in a while. Mm. My next-door neighbor, Sam, was an older Italian gentleman. He lived alone, but every day he was visited by a very large, intimidating man named Tony who spent the day with him, mostly talking and watching Mario Lanza movies. Google him. Uh-huh. Sam and I became close. I offered to take down his garbage bags with <coughs> mine to save him a trip one day, and as I, w- I was his adopted son from then on. One day, Tony knocks on my door. I open it and look up at Tony, who doesn't smile ever, so it was strange to see him in a good mood. He says, hey, Paisan, the boss, he wants to talk to you. I thought, great. Sam has some homemade wine, and I like talking to him. Sam had a little smile on his face, poured some wine, and says, I sit. He points to a chair. Tony sits down on the other side of the table. So, Jenny, uh, she a nice girl, eh? I mean, she treats you with the respect. Is she good to your mother? You, you know, maybe you want to marry her? I said, geez, I, I don't know, possibly. We get along pretty good. I was thinking about asking her why. He looked at me, and he said, don't. <laughs> I said, excuse me. Oh, hang on, hang on. <laughs> All right. First of all, this old dude yeah. is doing this young dude a huge solid. Yes. It's the equivalent of me in front of a camera in the in front of the entire goddamn planet trying to give advice to dudes who are dick thinking. Yep. It's very hard to talk a man down from dick thinking. Case in point, glory holes. <laughs> oh god. Like what the hell? All right, I'm sorry. I went off that. The fact that they even exist. I just uh, in- insane to me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Especially after watching that Doritos thing the other night. <laughs> <laughs> Never, ever stick your junk in a hole in the wall when you don't know what's on the other side. Uh, 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 <laughs> Could be 400-pound, like, Bam Bam Bigelow back there. Uh, or a toothless goat. <laughs> a toothless goat thinks he's going to get a carrot. Or a baby pig. <laughs> How do we go down this I'm path? Sorry, I'm, sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sam sipped his wine. Uh-huh. You heard me. Okay, I give up. Why shouldn't I? Sam said something to Tony in Italian. I caught some of it, enough to get the direction of his conversation. Fanguli. 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 Eh? He was asking Tony if he was sure about something, and he doesn't want to break this guy's heart for nothing. Tony looks straight at Sam. He puts his hand up and says, hand to God, I'm sure. Sam says, okay. Eagle Eyes here was picking up my prescription. He saw your girl eating lunch with another man. Ah, talk about straight to the point. I was a little stunned. I had asked Jenny to have lunch, and she told me she was too busy. Mm. Sam said, it's better you find out now. The longer it goes on... He shook his head. Yep. You're too good a man to be wearing the horns. Wearing the horns is a term for a man that's being cheated on. A cuck. Yeah, it's usually accompanied by a quick hand signal that looks like what you would throw at a metal concert. Mm Mm-hmm. I want you to know, if you need help with the situation, anything at all, come and talk to me. I'm always here. 
I had another glass <laughs> of wine. We talked a little more. So if the mob guys are saying that your girl ain't worth it, you might want to listen to him. I found out Tony had a similar uh, situation once. He sympathized with me and felt like we were a part of a brotherhood of sorts. Those who have been betrayed. He put his hand on my shoulder, and his hand is huge, so it covered my whole shoulder. Calling her a cheating slut in Italian and said, Put your head down and plow through. Don't stop a moving. If you start to miss, remember this supply and demand. Mm. Pussy's everywhere and easy to get, so it ain't worth that much. We He's finished not our, wrong. Yeah. If you can pay for it, it's not worth that much. Yeah, yeah. We finished our wine, and I went home to think and get some rest. The next night, Jenny came over after work. You got to say Jenny. Jenny. Uh, Jenny. After a quick knock, she opened the door with her key. I forgot I gave her a key, damn it. She came over and hugged me from behind while I was playing my piano. Mm-hmm. I said, hey, stranger, long time no see. She said, ah, oh, I've been so busy with work lately with work. I just need to slow down a bit, you know. I said, oh, I know. Uh huh. <laughs> she looked at me kind of strange for a minute, but continued talking. So do you remember me talking about Jam, her ex? Mm. I stopped playing. Yeah. Yeah. What about him? I ran into him the other day. Oh, I ran into him the other day, and he's doing well. That's nice. She looks at me funny. He asked about my family. I looked at her and said, sounds like you got all caught up. <laughs> she said, well, sort of. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. He invited me to dinner. Long pause. You know, just as friends. Nope. No, no. Mm -mm. I looked at her and smiled. Of course. Friends. Jenny said, I thought you'd give me a hard time about this. Uh, Who, me? (laughs) No, I did it with a friend. That's just fine. So I assume you already said yes? Uh Uh-huh. She said, well, yeah. Is that okay? I said, it must be if you're already going. (laughs) This is your decision. Dinner with your ex or stay home with your boyfriend. She said, well, he's a friend now. I smiled and I said, well, I stand corrected. Dinner with a friend yeah no 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 she's slinging that guy back <laughs> he said we didn't have air quotes back then but i would have used them <laughs> so it had to be in the 80s it had to be it had to be she was oblivious to my nuanced response and she said i knew you were mature enough to understand <laughs> she then went to the bedroom and grabbed some clothes yes yeah, she kept a few outfits in my apartment women have been doing that move for many years i'm gonna freshen up and grab a shower <sighs> She went into the bathroom and closed the door. It all came rushing to my head at once. First, I feel like I should have the Mission Impossible music playing right now. Grabbed the key out of her purse. Done. Then grabbed the little overnight bag she also kept in my closet and packed everything she owns other than the clothes and makeup into that bag. I hid the bag out of sight, sat down at the piano just as she came out. She looked good. In fact, I felt bad about what I was about to do. I came close to backing out, but then I remembered who she was looking good for and the feeling passed. That's right. It's not you. As soon as Janae left, after the obligatory kiss on the cheek, you know, because she can't smear the lipstick yet. You got to save that for the dude's crankshaft. That's right. She's going to go and have a dinner with his friend. (laughs) She's got to do the uh, mouth hug with a few bobs. (laughs) She's going to give him a mouth hug. (laughs) Hey, baby, can I have a mouth hug? What's that? (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> Mouth hug with a head bob. Uh, that's the way it goes. Oh, the all vowel opera hour. I got to work. I looked everywhere in the apartment for the rest of anything that belonged to her. I couldn't fit any more in the overnight bag, so into the trash bag it went. <laughs> uh, I thought it was fitting because at this point she was just trash to me. Just as I put the bags at the door, there's a <clears> knock. <throat> Damn, she forgot something, I thought. I open the door, and it's Tony. He said, you got a minute? And points to Sam's door. Sure, I said, went over to Sam's place. He turns off the TV and says, so dinner with a friend, eh? For <laughs> fun culo, eh? <laughs> They're listening through the walls! Yeah! The walls were thin in my building, so they heard everything. Yeah, I said, but I packed all of her stuff. It'll be waiting in the hall when she gets back. Tony chimes in. Does she know? You know? I said, no. When she gets home, there'll be a rude awakening. Tony said, good. And he banged on the table with his hand. Mm-hmm. Can't wait. If I see her pulling the pocket knot, I will knock on the wall to tip you off. <laughs> yeah. Sam laughed. Just remember to stay calm and don't raise your voice. 
You're in the right. The truth is on your side. Lies need to be shouted, but the truth is quiet and sure. That's right. That's a very good piece of advice. That's right. It loses a little in translation, but to this day, I never forgot that. It's because it's, it's very true, and it's worth remembering. I was dozing on the couch when I heard a bang on the wall. Yeah, and a, quick mo- a quick movement to the door and a light knock. I opened the door, and it was Tony. Mm-hmm. Hey, she's not alone, Paisan. <laughs> <laughs> There's a guy in the car. I think it's the same one I saw a couple days ago. I thanked him, put her bag in the trash bag out in the hallway. Mm-hmm. He said, I'm right here, okay? I nodded, closed, and locked my door. So this is dudes helping each other out. This is what we mean. We're talking about men helping men. But the thing is, is this is a mob guy. Yeah. All right. Now, they're very. Th- th- those dudes are traditional back mm-hmm. in the day. Absolutely. It's, there's mob guys and there's gangbangers. Yes. Back in the day when it was mobsters, if you got killed by a mobster, you were, ch- you were fucking around in their world. Mm-hmm. Because ordinary civilians usually didn't get clipped. No. I mean, it seems strange to think that there is honor among thieves or organized crime, but there is a, a semblance of it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, where was I here? I heard the TV on low in Sam's apartment. I sat at the piano and started playing softly, collecting my thoughts. I did not hear her walk up to the door, but I heard her gasp. <gasps> I walked to the door, and I could hear her going through the key ring and swearing. As she couldn't find them, she kept getting louder. Finally, she started knocking on the door. Hey, what the hell is this? Open the door. Why is all my stuff in a bag? I think you know why. Uh So that's everything you have in this apartment. Take it and go. Don't come back. Don't call me. You're not welcome here. She then lost her shit. Started screeching at the top of her lungs. You can't do this. I will not be treated like this. Started banging on the door. I want to check to make sure I have everything. Open, open, open. No crying, just straight to anger. Yep. Because she got caught. 100%. She stopped suddenly, and I heard muffled whispers. It was Jim. Ah. He'd come up from the car. Apparently, he wanted to get started with the evening's festivities. Hmm. A normal guy in that situation would have run, got a cab, and called it a night, but not Jim. So he yells, hey, man, oh, come on, open the door and let her have her property. I said quietly but firm, No. Everything of hers is in those bags. Now you can leave and see what my dick tastes like when you kiss her, which sounded kind of weird at a lower volume. <laughs> <laughs> now playing the hero, let her in, man, or I'll kick the door down, break your fingers. How are you going to make your living with broken fingers, huh? I've literally had this exact same threat thrown at me. Yeah, yeah. It was just as pathetic coming from the fat piece of shit who tried to intimidate me as it was from this guy. At this point, Tony opens his door. I hear a knock on my door. Hey, Paisan, you're going to want to see this. <laughs> <laughs> Open my door to see Janae and Jim backing away from Tony. Jim speaks up and says, hey, man, I don't want any trouble. She just wants. Jim keeps backing up. He's got long hair like Robert Plant and dirty-looking jeans. Very peacenik-like. Yeah, yeah. Jim trails off as Tony keeps walking forward. Tony, who is keeping very cool and collected, you don't want trouble, but you want to break fingers, Uh right? Right? Uh (laughs) (laughs) Jim is stuttering at this point. Look, man, I I just want to... And Tony interrupts him. You just want to break fingers. Tell you what, let's play a game. I'll let you go first. Go ahead and pick one. You break it, but not my thumb. I I need that to stick in your wife's ass. (laughs) 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 Yeah! (laughs) Oh, my God, this is good. Tony stares into Jim's eyes and says, She likes that. (laughs) (laughs) Tony has his hand in front of Jim's face, and it covers his whole face. Yeah, he's obviously the enforcer. Yeah, he's the big dude. He's he's the bouncer guy. <laughs> At this point, Janae speaks up. Leave him alone. We'll just leave. She turns to me, pleading with her eyes to stop this. And Tony says, hey, sluts aren't allowed to play the game. No interruptions. <laughs> I found out later that Sam had told Tony to keep quiet so he doesn't wake up the building. So all of this was happening at a low, sinister volume that was just creepy. I love it. Tony looks at Jim. Come on, it's getting late, hippie. Pick a finger and break it. 
<laughs> Jim looks over at Jen A and then at me and says, uh, I'm very sorry about all this. This is wrong and I should be home with my wife. <laughs> uh huh. Jenny gives him a look that would make a dick shrivel up. <laughs> so th- those mobsters knew the dude was married. Uh, they may, they, they may or may not him. have. Wow. Either they got lucky on the guess, mm-hmm. or they followed this guy and got some intel on him. Yeah, they might have. I wouldn't put it past the mobster guys. That's Oh, no. I mean, these guys are on the level, and that they're just looking out for this dude. So they would, I mean, what are they going to do? I mean, it's easy enough to just follow a dude home from work and be like, oh, look at that. Okay. Well, this will be fun. <laughs> Oh, man, this story is just fucking great. Tony says, oh, well, I was looking forward to our game, but you're right. It's getting late. Ah. I mean, if you really have to be going. (laughs) (laughs) So they let him off the hook. I love it. Tony steps back like a big swinging door, smiles and gestures them to pass him. As Jim passes by him, Tony says, next time we play, I go first, hippie. (laughs) (laughs) I swear I saw a piss stain on the guy's pants, but it might have been there from before. (laughs) Jenny didn't even grab her bags as she walked by Tony said, nice tits. I like them big and floppy like that, huh? <laughs> <laughs> as we heard the front door of the building shut, Tony says, she's with that guy? What the shit rule? Spelled phonetically, it's pronounced as one word. It's Italian slang for useless or coward. Mm. Then he pointed at Sam's door and said, Drink? Took a deep breath and said, yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> we sat at the table with Sam, and he thanked us for not making a mess in the hall. Nice. Good wine, good friends that have your back. What more do you need? Sam told me the next day he heard her in the hall picking up her bags while I was out getting some cannolis. Never heard from her again until Facebook confirmed she hit the wall like a military video of a railgun projectile test. Her tits got bigger, but so did the rest of her. She must go... 250, 275 now. Pulled the pin on the fat grenade. And she's got grown kids that don't talk to her. Mm. Can't imagine why. Stop. Don't touch me there. This is my no no swear. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> wow. Comedy gold. That's, yeah. I love that story. Oh my God. That is that is awesome. Thank you so much for that, Lefty. I mean, oh that is my just God. absolutely fantastic. Wow. I love it. Watch Grunt Speak Live every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. And if you want to join Pop for Supporter Sundays, go to redonculus.com slash donate and make a monthly pledge. A link is in the Meat Gazer box.